Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn the basics of 3ds Max interface and learn the names of the different panels and functions. We're going to start with the main menu bar at the top of the screen. In this menu, we can find many of the most commonly used tools and commands in 3ds Max. All are displayed in a casket style menu and really well organized into categories. There are some tools and commands that we're not going to be able to find in the main menu. To access them, we're going to use the command panel on the right side of the screen. This is the most important panel in 3ds Max and it's divided into six sub panels. Create, Modify, Hierarchy, Motion, Display, and Utilities. For architectural visualization projects, we're going to work mainly with the Create, Modify, and Display panels. At the center of the screen, we can find the viewports. By default, 3ds Max viewports are split into the four most common views, top, front, left, and perspective. We can resize the viewports by positioning the cursor in the intersection of any of the views and dragging it. To reset it, place the mouse cursor on the intersection and right-click, then select Reset Layout. We can maximize any active view by pressing Alt plus W in the keyboard. It is also possible to switch between the different views by pressing the Windows key plus Shift button. This command is going to highlight the next available view. We can change the viewport layout using the viewport layout panel on the left side of the screen and select one of the layout presets. For architectural visualization projects, I recommend the 2x1 and the 1x1 viewports. In the default 3ds Max workspace interface, we also have the Scene Explorer next to this panel. I recommend keeping this panel closed or on a different screen to have more space for your viewport. You can open the Scene Explorer using this button if you decide to keep it closed. Below the main menu, we have the main toolbar. This toolbar includes tools and dialogues for the most common task in 3ds Max. This is one of the toolbars that we are going to be using most of the time in our projects. It includes tools like Select and Link, Selection Filter List, Move, Rotate, Scale, or Render. Below the main toolbar, we can find a panel called the Ribbon. This panel is collapsed by default. To access it, we can press the arrow button. We can see that it contains different panels. Each of these panels will display different tools depending on the objects you have selected. At the bottom of the program window, we can find the animation controls. It includes the time slider. We can also find tools like set key and auto key to create new keys for animations and the time control for animation playback. In the lower right corner, we can find the viewport navigation control. These tools depend on the active viewport perspective, orthographic, camera, and live viewport. Each have their own controls that are available only when they are selected. At the center of the bottom panel, we have the coordinate display. This area shows the position of the cursor or the status of transform. We can also add our own transform values in this area. For more information about all the different tools in 3ds Max, don't forget to watch my other videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.